Hello IG Garage family. Have you noticed your check engine light shining bright, and an OBD2 scanner pointing to P0152? This means there's a problem with the oxygen sensor circuit high voltage, bank 2, sensor 1. You might be dealing with poor fuel efficiency, rough idling, or even engine performance issues. In this video we'll break down exactly what P0152 means, where the sensor is located, and most importantly, how to fix it. Stay tuned till the end for some crucial tips that will save you time and money. The P0152 code stands for Oxygen Sensor Circuit High Voltage, Bank 2, Sensor 1. Simply put, the oxygen sensor is sending a voltage reading that is higher than what the engine control unit, or ECU, expects. This could point to a faulty sensor, damaged wiring or incorrect sensor readings. Your vehicle relies on the oxygen sensors to monitor exhaust gases and help adjust the air-fuel mixture for optimal engine performance. If the signal from the sensor is too high, the ECU might struggle to regulate the mixture, leading to poor fuel economy, increased emissions, and overall bad engine performance. Symptoms of P0152, check engine light on, poor fuel economy, engine misfires or hesitation, rough idling or stalling, and increased exhaust emissions. Common causes of P0152, faulty O2 sensor. The Bank 2 Sensor 1 oxygen sensor may be malfunctioning and sending an incorrect high voltage reading. Damaged wiring or connector. The wiring or connectors leading to the sensor might be corroded or loose causing the sensor to malfunction. Exhaust leaks. A leak in the exhaust system can cause incorrect readings by letting air enter before the sensor. ECU issues. In rare cases a faulty engine control module can misinterpret the sensor's data. Bank 2, sensor 1, also known as the upstream O2 sensor, is located on the side of the engine that does not contain cylinder number 1. Sensor 1 is positioned before the catalytic converter, typically on the exhaust manifold or near the exhaust pipe leading out of the engine. It's mounted directly onto the exhaust system to monitor the level of oxygen in the exhaust gases. The O2 sensor is wired into the engine's harness and has a connector plug for electrical communication. If you're troubleshooting, inspect the wiring between the sensor and ECU for any signs of wear, brakes, or loose connections. Inspect the wiring and connector. Start by inspecting the wiring connected to Bank 2, Sensor 1. Check for loose connections, frayed wires or signs of corrosion at the connector. Repair or replace any damaged wiring as necessary. Test the O2 sensor. Use a multimeter to measure the voltage output of the O2 sensor. If the voltage is too high and remains constant, this indicates that the sensor is likely faulty and needs replacement. Third, check for exhaust leaks. Any leak before the sensor will interfere with its readings. Inspect the exhaust system for any signs of cracks, holes, or damaged gaskets. Use a smoke test if necessary. Fourth, replace the O2 sensor. If the sensor is faulty, replacing it with a new OEM or high-quality aftermarket sensor is essential. Make sure you get the correct sensor for Bank 2, Sensor 1. Clear the code and test drive. After the repairs are done, use an OBD2 scanner to clear the code. Then take the vehicle for a test drive to ensure the problem is fixed and the check engine light stays off. And that's how you can fix the P0152 code, which points to a high voltage signal from the oxygen sensor Bank 2 Sensor 1. Fixing this will improve your engine performance, fuel efficiency, and help you pass emissions tests with ease. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tips on keeping your car running smoothly. Check out these related videos for more insights. 1. P0057, HO2, S heater circuit low, Bank 1, Sensor 2. 2. P0058, HO2, S heater circuit high, Bank 1, Sensor 2. 
Thanks for watching IG Garage. Keep your car running at its best.